Where did your dreams go? The dreams of childhood? Wishes of the young and innocent heart? The hopes to make the team or to make the winning play? To make your family proud? The dreams to go somewhere? To do something? To become something? To get out ahead of the world? To leave behind your fears and worries? To see how vast and beautiful the world can be? To discover, to dare, to dive in, to know and be known, to love and be loved. All of those dreams, where did they go? One day we wake up and we feel the weight of our decisions, the consequences of what we've done and what's been done to us, the words, the actions, the lies, the addictions, the shame, the cycles, anger, the spiral. There's an emptiness that sets in. And all the years, the days and the dreams that are gone, we wake up and realize we're not as strong as we think we are. And it may have taken a great sorrow for us to realize that. But thankfully, you're not the only one with a dream for your life. There is one, our maker, our creator, the dream giver, who before you were even born had a plan for your life, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, the one who imagined you, who delights in you, who gave up his own life for you. He has a plan for you. It's bigger than your mistakes, bigger than your regrets, bigger than all the hurts, hangups, and habits that have tried to steal your hope. No matter where you've been, and no matter what you've done, you're not too far gone. God is for you, and his dreams for your future are good. A future of joy, a future of purpose, a future filled with redemption and renewal, promise and possibility. Don't stop now. Don't give up yet. This is the part where the story gets good, where the battles are won, where the prodigals come home, where the dead awaken to life. Your past it's not your future. There is a God who does the impossible. There is more to come. Come, rejoice with us. Welcome to Celebrate Recovery.